All right, what's up my brothers? In this video, we're gonna answer the question, is it possible to meet a woman who isn't seeing other men? This is a dude who's 35 who's asking this question. I'm just gonna read it out. I'm really tired of meeting women, talking stages, dating. I'm consistently hearing how men are awful because they use women for sex. Yet whenever I meet a woman, she almost always has a hookup. FWB, that stands for friends with benefits, on the side. It really kills any flow of building anything when she doesn't call text you back the next day because she's banging another dude. Here I am talking with you all week between our dates, yet you're sleeping with other people. How am I ever supposed to build any trust with you or even care about what you say after that? I don't do that. When I break it off, I get tested, do my own thing for a while, reach out to someone only when actually interested. I'm not a prude or anything. I just find it highly hypocritical that men are demonized for chasing tail, yet women almost always have more sex than the dudes they demonize. And of course, putting these men pay for dates, you know, in quotation standards on us to invest our energy in her when she's again banging other dudes. I've had women at one time asked me to delete my other contacts just for her to change her mind a week later, and she never removes her, leaving me to start all over again looking for dates. Mind you, I mean talking as in we have been on a date or two already, known each other for a while, and it's clear that I want to date them and have been forward with them, aka expecting me to put in the effort to prove myself and my intentions while she's still chatting around or even still banging other dudes. All right, let's talk about this because it's been said that there really are no single women, um, which is going to really hit hard when we sort of think about what this looks like as we drive off here. I got to turn on the air conditioning because it's actually a warm day here in Toronto. It's still March and I just picked up the car from storage and uh, yeah, it's nice out. All right, so this guy's complaint is relatively common. I've had dudes call in on my Unplugged Alpha podcast show on that channel. I'll put a card up in the top right. If you're not subscribed, you should go check it out. Uh, you know, expressing this sort of issue many times before. And like I said, it's not that uncommon. It's been said that there are no single women. So even though you're uh, on a dating app, which it sounds like what this guy's doing, or if you're doing cold approach or whatever it happens to be, uh, every chick that you're dealing with is generally talking with or and or maybe even being intimate with other dudes. Um, again, there are no single women. You just have to understand that. There, there, there's probably a very small contingent, like a small percentage of women that will only date one guy at a time. I mean, I've heard women, you know, obviously say, you know, I only date one guy at a time and I wanna, you know, be taken serious and all that sort of stuff. Fine, sure, but you know, there's always conflicts between what women say and what they do. So you gotta watch their behavior. And if there's clear evidence that, you know, they're seeing other people, other other dudes, it's not used people, other dudes, uh, then it's going on. I remember there was this one time that I was seeing this gal and she got all bent out of shape because, uh, you know, I was dating a when August, we have spinning plates, obviously, you know, considering options. And, um, you know, so I, you know, so what's your deal then, right? You know, like, are you doing, you know, you've seen other people? Oh, no, 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 it's, you know, I only see one person at a time. So by that time we had already connected on social media. It was probably on Facebook or some, some form of a story, like a 24 hour story. Maybe it was on Instagram. And, um, she had, uh, you know, she'd been busy, you know, on a, let's say a Saturday night or something like that. And I had maybe said to her earlier this week, Hey, you know, what do you do? It's Saturday night. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm busy or whatever. Okay, fine. Whatever. And you get up in the morning, you're checking social media and there's a picture of two glasses of wine sitting on the table with hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. It's like, like, you know what she's doing, right? Like, you know, she's out with another dude, right? So you're just going to get that. That's just the status of modern women today. It's going to be very, very difficult for a guy today to find a gal uh, that will only date one guy at a time or is willing to only date one guy at a time to sort of, you know, suss them out and test them out and see what they're made of. That's generally how women have operated in the past. You can kind of, uh, I mean, like spinning plates is kind of the notion, and I'll explain it for those that are newer to the channel. So all that is is dating multiple people simultaneously in a non-monogamous fashion. It's just a man of swamp tr sort of trope. It's like, you know, you date, you know, you spin these plates, you give them a little bit of energy, and they kind of just go on their own. It's a, it's a strategy that I've encouraged guys to adopt because really women do it naturally, right? Like because women are hypergamous, all that really means is they want to be with somebody that's of a higher socioeconomic caliber than them. And for them to establish what a higher caliber guy looks like, it requires them to generally date or, or entertain multiple options simultaneously. 
I think it's been like that since the beginning of time. It's just with social media, with dating apps, uh, it sort of exaggerates it. Maybe, you know, 200 years ago, she might have entertained a couple guys at the same time in her village or her town or something like that. And it wasn't that problematic. And of course, uh, because the numbers were so low and notch counts were a lot lower back then, it wasn't that big of a deal. But today, guys like this are like, I'm matching you or I'm taking you on a date and I'm being a gentleman and I'm opening the car door and I'm doing all those chivalrous things that are kind of expected of guys. And after I feed you and, you know, buy you dinner, you're, you're texting some, like literally texting another dude to come over to rearrange your guts. I had a guy call on my show once and he was out on a date with a, a gal, you know, bought her dinner, wonderful evening. We had a great time, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And, you know, as he's driving off, um, and he's heading home, he realizes 10 minutes into the drive, he looks in the back seat, he's like, oh, her jacket's back there. So being the gentleman that he was, he turns around and drives back to drop it off, only by the time he got to her place, 15, 20 minutes later, 10 minutes out, 10 minutes back, let's call it 20 minutes, by the time he got back to her place, there was already a dude in her house doing his thing. So she had already set it up, maybe she went to the bathroom doing her dinner or something like that, and you know, he was shocked. So. It's not that uncommon. Again, you guys have to remember something. Reputation management for women is incredibly important. So they're not gonna overtly state to you that they're entertaining other options. They're not gonna overtly state, oh yeah, I'm seeing two or three other guys, or I've got a friends with benefits or something like that on the side, while you're whining and dining them, potentially looking at them for a wife stock, putting a ring on their finger and babies in them, while they're you know banging some dude after you take them out for dinner. It's not that uncommon, dudes. You have to understand that this is the reality of the deregulated sexual marketplace today, right? Uh, women just have more options, and because women generally exercise options to get the best that they can get, they're of course gonna have multiple options with social media apps and guys sliding into their DMs and dating apps and stuff like that. It's just a reality of the world that we live in today. Um, so what can you do about this? Not much, unfortunately. Um, I mean, if you're looking for a pure girl who's only going to date you and only you on a serious basis, this guy's 35 again, you're going to have a very, very hard time finding that. Uh, your best bet is probably going to be date younger in some sort of uh, environment or frame, whether it's contextually religious, uh, cultural, you know, something where there's restrictions on her dating a whole bunch of guys. So there's a strong virtuous father in the picture that sets limits on how old you know she has to be when she can date, how she's gonna date. She lives at home with her parents. A chick that lives at home with her parents is far better than a woman that lives on her own. Uh, like a woman that lives on her own has a very, very easy time dating multiple guys and being totally fine with it because it's like, it doesn't matter. There's no shame. But you know, when you live with your parents, um, you've got more hoops to jump through, you know, if you will. So there's not a ton you can do about it. If I'm being perfectly honest, it's one of the realities of the world that we live in today. There's not a whole lot that can be done about it to improve it. You can be somewhat more discerning. I think one of the strategies that guys should adopt is just again to spin plates. Um, date multiple women simultaneously in a non-monogamous fashion. That could be three or four, five, six, doesn't matter what it is. But don't limit yourself to just one woman. Spin those plates, let the cream rise to the top. Choose women that choose you, like women that genuinely reach out to you. Hey, how was your day? Can't wait to see you again. I'd love to make you dinner. Would you prefer this meal or this plate? Um, that's a strong choosing signal. That's a strong indicator that she's a woman that's chosen you. And a woman that's chosen you has a very hard time dating multiple guys simultaneously. It's very, very difficult for her to form strong connections to multiple people. Uh, that's that's one of the problems that his intuition, that his gut is picking up on. He's like, he's, he's got this level of almost disgust where he's like, I'm the good guy and the bad guy is getting all the fun. Why do I, you know, go through all these hoops while he gets to go from A to Z like that and I gotta go A, B, C, D, you know, so on and so forth to get to the point that I wanna get to, which there's nothing wrong with that. He's, he's absolutely right. There's absolutely nothing wrong with feeling discomfort or disgust with what it is that he's looking at right now. All right, so there you have it, guys. You let me know what you think in the comments below. What has your experience been with this sort of situation in dating? Are you finding that, you know, gals that you're seeing 
are dating multiple guys simultaneously, maybe keeping a friends with benefits or two on the side while you're the nice guy whining and dining or sort of thing. I, I really can't offer much in the way of a solution, again, beyond date younger and date women with cultural religious restrictions on uh, promiscuity because they're probably going to be better. But again, as time goes on, fellas, uh, and baggage accumulates and more of he hurt me, he cheated on me, he used me, whatever, like insert whatever the piece of baggage might have to be, that stuff generally piles up and women don't generally get rid of it. It just, you know, accumulates in their repertoire and damages them more and more over time. Leave those comments below. Let me know what you think. Pin in the top comment. Uh, link to my book. A bunch of other useful stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake.